Hey everyone, thanks as always for having me on board. Um, Terry, I thought you were gonna say something about us being Bobcats, you always do, but I just have a little sidebar news. We just hired our new managing editor who is a Bobcat, who went to OU, EW Scripps School of Journalism, Matt Danford, so excited for you to meet him at upcoming trade shows. We won't be the only Bobcats in the industry moving forward. So my first headline is that Custom Inc. is shrinking its manufacturing footprint and cutting payroll. The custom apparel maker will close its production facilities in Charlottesville, Virginia and Reno, Nevada, a move that will affect a combined 338 workers. This is from the Reno o Gazette Journal. Due to rising costs and increasingly tight markets for production talent, Custom Inc. has decided to close our production sites in Reno, Nevada and Charlottesville, Virginia and consolidate in-house production in our Dallas, Texas facility the company which told outlet. While some of the impact employees will move to the Dallas facility, most will be laid off and provided separation packages. The company will retain a combined 410 employees in non-production roles in Charlottesville and Reno. So stay tuned uh, for an article in the March-April edition of Screen Printing Magazine where we discuss internet pricing structure and how to compete with online retail companies like Custom Inc. Our second headline, uh, one of the hot topics at Screen Printing Magazine right now is where to find and how to attract talented young creatives. Andy McDougall wrote about this in his latest column and interviewed Edward Cook in his latest podcast. It is a must listen. I urge you to check it out. And it is a lead into my second headline for you, which is the Print and Graphic Scholarship Foundation, PGSF, is now accepting scholarship applications for the 2023 through 2020, 2024 academic year. PGSF provides scholarships to individuals interested in an education and a career in the graphics communications industry. PGSF's goal is to attract individuals to the graphic communications industry and to inform them of the wide variety of career opportunities available. The organization awards scholarships to high school seniors or students already enrolled in a post-secondary program, as well as to individuals who are currently employed by a graphic communications company and are seeking additional education. What better way to get talented young creatives excited about the screen printing industry than through scholarships and education that show a direct career path in this field. And lastly, the results from the apparel decorator survey, which we completed with key point intelligence, are now available in the JanFeb screen printing digital edition. We conducted a survey of the apparel industry to capture a profile of apparel decorators, their business models, average monthly volumes, decorating technologies currently used, and the annual percentage of volume produced. Decorating technologies, planned budgets, and uh, reasons why certain decorating technologies were not used. Uh, the survey asked about average weekly uptime of technologies, unscheduled maintenance issues with their decorating technologies, budgeted hourly rates for key positions within their company, the cost of goods sold, the selling price per technology used, labor and supply chain disruptions, uh, the impact on their business, and changes in their business revenue since 2019. So a ton of information there. We present the key findings from the survey in the JanFeb digital edition, and I really urge you to check it out and see where you land among your peers. So that's all for Screen Printing Magazine. Thank you both so much.